The SEC freezing the assets of Danny Peng as the private financier becomes the latest high-profile executive to be accused of running a Ponzi scheme. And CNBC's Julia Borston is in Los Angeles with the details. Hi, Julia. Hi, Rebecca. Well, the SEC has frozen the assets of Danny Peng and his companies, insisting that Peng return money sent overseas. The SEC alleges that Peng defrauded investors out of hundreds of millions of dollars, guaranteeing returns as high as 7 percent from timeshare or insurance policy proceeds, instead paying interest with money raised from new investors. The SEC claims Peng forged documents and lied about his resume, saying he'd been a Morgan Stanley executive with an MBA from the University of California at Irvine. Former SEC official Tom Gorman says the SEC has filed 75 Ponzi schemes over the past two years with dozens more in the works. In Peng's case, his guarantee of returns indicated that something was amiss, and now the SEC has plenty of work ahead. They're going to want to gather all the documents, try to sort it through and see just how bad the fraud really is, see just how many invest investors really got defrauded, and then eventually at the end what they'll want to do is marshal the assets and try to get them back for the investors. Peng has hired legendary Hollywood damage control publicist Michael Citrick, who has also represented Paris Hilton and Chris Brown. He's also retained attorney David Schindler to defend him against the civil case. Schindler saying his client expects to be vindicated. Now, Rebecca Gorman also says we could see criminal charges against Peng brought by the Department of Justice. Now, the DOJ generally lags the SEC, but we could see those criminal charges within about a month. Back to you. Thanks.